And the Ultimate Warrior challenging, or excuse me, Andre the Giant challenging the Ultimate Warrior for the Intercontinental Belt. Yeah, so Andre he, got a championship match. Mm -hmm. Andre's in line for the Intercontinental title. Yes. Bro. So here's the angle to set this up. The Ultimate Warrior is carrying a human body. <laughs> Dude. I don't know who he was, where he was going, but on Ultimate Warrior. Let's just was stop for a second, a dude. Vinny. I want to make this clear to the people listening that don't watch these old shows. Okay, this is the entire angle to set up Andre the Giant getting a championship match against the Ultimate Warrior, who is the Intercontinental Champion. Go ahead. So Ultimate Warrior is a human body over his shoulder. Bobby Heenan stops him in the aisle to confront him. Warrior drops this person, who I hope was already dead, because if oh they were gosh. alive, they hit the ground like that. <laughs> no good. Head, no good. Head first. Yeah. So Warrior goes to confront Heenan, but in doing so, he turns his back to the entryway. Out comes Andre the Giant, who grabs him by the neck and chokes him. <laughs> That's the angle. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> he came out and he choked him from behind, mm -hmm. and that was it. That's Pretty simple, end. huh? And I was watching it thinking, you know what? Back in the day, that was a big fucking angle. Yes. yes. They're at a TV taping where nothing ever happens. And all of a sudden, Andre the Giant, he choked the warrior. From behind, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You normally choke a man from the front, so I've been told. That's how I do it, yeah. He choked the back of his neck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, that's, like me so putting, that's like me turning you around and putting you in a rear naked backwards. That doesn't work. His hands are so giant. They go yes. all the way around Warrior's throat. Ridiculous. So Jesse is interviewing Keenan and Andre. I, like, I do like these shows. They always have Jesse interviewing the heels. There's a heel interview guy and a babyface interview guy. And they both actually, throughout the course of the show, ask some very good questions. Keenan explains that they have a psychological edge in this matchup now. Because that ultimate maniac has felt these hands in his neck. He has felt the air leaving his body. And Jesse says, well, you're saying that you're going to get this Intercontinental Championship back for the Heenan family. But the man who lost it to the Warrior is Rick Rude. Will Rick Rude be jealous if Andre the Giant is champion? Uh, Jesus Christ, Jesse, that's a great question. That's a fantastic question, Jesse. Thank you for asking that. Now, why were they trying to brand the Ultimate Warrior with the Ultimate Maniac? They said it again and again and again. I, I just one of those insults. Have you seen around. this guy? He's <laughs> a fucking maniac. I mean, understood. Eventually, eventually, Randy Savage and Ultimate Warrior form a tag team called the Ultimate Maniacs. Understood. Which I said many times was the most appropriate name for a tag team I've ever seen. But that's where the and there, there's a worse example of that to come. Mm -hmm. So. Bobby Heenan explains, it's like Charlie Manson and Archie Bunker said, it's all in the family. And Andre's th threatened to go break some necks, plural. Mm -hmm. More than so one. Not just, not just the warrior is in danger. Gene then interviews the ultimate warrior. It is as crazy as you would think. He does Bro, circles around Gene. It was way crazier. <laughs> I grew up mm. watching The Ultimate Warrior, and like I knew that this guy was out of his mind, but like this promo here, he was completely out of his fucking mind. I kind of figured out, I mean, I, I understood what he was saying, but like he was totally out of his mind, and he's ranting and he's raving. He only breathes the air of the brave. He only feasts on the fruits of victory, and he's done ranting and raving. He, he, he roars off, and Gene says, Vince... I see no fear in the eyes of the warrior tonight. I hear cocaine was fairly popular in the 80s. Bro, dude. That's what I heard. I don't even think cocaine would make a man do this. There's been a lot of people on cocaine who are not the ultimate warrior. Yeah, I feel like there were a lot of people on this show that I've been watching that were on <laughs> cocaine. None of them acted like this guy. Vinny does not do cocaine. Not this yeah. show. Oh, I'm sorry. No. So, Warrior the whole time is like, just even as Gene is asking the questions, Warrior's just walking in circles around him and snorting, and it's clear Gene has no idea what this lunatic is up to. No. The, and then the when best, it's time to... The best thing is, when, when Ultimate Warrior is doing his interview, watch Mean Gene. Don't watch the Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gene's probably legit terrified. Yes. And then when it's time for Warrior to speak, he's just roaring everything at the top of his lungs. 
which is a very Vinny, Vinny V thing to do, actually. I'm a very loud man, but he's screaming, Fear is an aberration. It is the air that cowards breathe. It is the first taste of defeat. And he has his line about breathing the air of the brave and feasting on the fruits of victory. So he's cutting this promo here in pink trunks. And then his music hits and he runs to the ring in orange trunks. Vinny, may I? Brian, the floor is yours. Thank you. We're doing the show because of the warrior. You're aware of that, right? This is the man who most inspired you. This is the man where mm -hmm. I watched this guy and I was like, this fucking wrestling thing is awesome. Yes. And granted, wrestling had been airing in our household for a while because my sister was actually the one that was a fan before I was. And she had like this Hulk Hogan poster she used to put on her door. I fucking hated that thing. I just wanted to face it. And then one day, my, my grandfather moved to Mexico. But my grandmother didn't go with him. So she moved in with us. Spoke no English. All she could say was, Lucha. <laughs> she wanted to watch wrestling. <laughs> I never heard this. Yeah. Now, I never heard this. They had a, I don't know how. I've, I mean, I've, I've told this story before. It's in my book, Vinny. But anyway, they had a satellite dish because we used to go down to Blackfoot where they lived and they would watch everything on their satellite dish from Mexico. So I'm pretty sure she wanted to watch some EMLL. Well, she says Lucha. And what do I fucking find on the, the TV? The fucking Ultimate Warrior and Dino Bravo. So I turned this on for her. I'm watching it, and I was like, fuck, this is fucking cool. Look at this big crazy fucker beating up this other geek, the cigarette smuggler. So next thing you know, I'm a wrestling fan. But anyway, like I said... And your grandma's not anymore. I was watching Saturday nights... I was watching Primetime Wrestling. That's a show that I watched, starting in probably 88, maybe, maybe late 87. It was 88. I would watch every Primetime Wrestling on Monday night. But I wasn't watching, apparently, the Saturday night's main events. So what I would see was I would see a warrior squash eventually. He'd just kill some nerd. Because nothing ever happened on primetime wrestling. Right. So finally, Saturday night's main event is when they started to do angles. And I th I'm pretty sure it's the next one was the one that I watched. I could be wrong. But for sure, like, I got WrestleMania six on pay-per-view. So anyway, I didn't see this match. If I had... Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'd be doing nowadays. This fucking match was the biggest piece of shit I fucking ever saw. And what's funny is, I knew, I learned later, that Warrior and Andre went around the country doing matches on the house show yeah. circuit. Yes. 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 They were like three minutes. They would it's get that. in, get out, and it would be over. Okay? Saw it, saw it in Tacoma. Yeah, so when I heard that this match was going to be on Saturday night's main event, I yes. thought, this fucking thing's going to be three minutes, in and out, Warrior gets a big win, because Jesus Christ, the guy's going to fight for the championship at WrestleMania in like three months. Yes. He's got to run through the Giant. We were just talking about this on the last show. At the, at the end of Thursday's show, when I looked this up and saw this match, and I was horrified, and you tried to assure me everything would be okay. So this match starts. You dick. This yeah. match starts, and Craig, please. That's that's what Andre was doing, I believe. <laughs> Must I mute you? Well, he got muted. I'll let him back at the end. So this match starts, and to be fair, it wasn't bad for about two minutes. It was. Give me. Let me get this straight. It wasn't good at all. Okay. It was not good at all. But it was not the worst match I ever saw yet. It's like <laughs> Warriors being an idiot. Andre thumps him from behind, and then Andre tries to choke him, and then Warrior's choking him with his singlet, and the fans are chanting Warrior's name, and he fights free, and he bumps Andre outside, and I thought, all right, they're going to get back in. Big shoulder block, big splash, it's going to be over. But no. They get back in the ring, and it fucking keeps going. Warrior does something to bump Andre outside. No one even knows what it is. How many options are there? You know what I'm saying? Vince is like, I think it was a lariat. I think it might have been a clothesline. So I rewound it, and what happened was Warrior just hit, he just ran into the guy, and the guy fell outside. Warrior puts Andre, Warrior puts Andre in a fucking yes. bear hug. Yes. I'm like, okay. Like... 
We're at the four minute mark. Let's take this fucker home. Andre fights back. Now he puts Warrior in the bear hug. And they're laying there. And the fans are completely dead. So finally, Warrior starts to Hulk up. And I'm like, this is a very, very bad match. But at least we're going home. Warrior fights back and he waffles Andre. Andre comes, falls backwards and he gets wrapped in the ropes. I'm like, it's got to be over here soon. Warrior goes for a fucking high cross. Andre tight in the ropes, puts his giant boot up. Fucking idiot Warrior bounces into it. He falls down with heat on the Warrior again. I'm like, Jesus, come on. Fuck me. They keep fucking fighting. Bobby Heenan goes and he gets the title. He brings it into the ring. Warrior's fucking totally gassed. He can barely move. He's gasping for air. And he grabs Bobby. He can't even press Bobby Heaton. He's so tired. He just falls forward. Bobby lands on his fucking head. He wasn't protected. Andre gets hit. Referee calls for the bell. This fucking sucked so hard. This was one of the worst matches I ever saw on television in my lifetime. It was so unbelievably bad and do you know what you know what my main point of all of this is besides just saying how bad this match was when was this show november 25th november 1989 yes we're five months away from wrestlemania 6 mm -hmm. hulk hogan hulk hogan is your champion okay Vince has fucking decided that Hulk Hogan is too old and he needs to be replaced. His decision is to replace him with a fucking ultimate warrior. How can you watch this match? How can you watch this match and come to the fucking conclusion that this guy needs to replace Hulk Hogan. In what universe? So, bro, eye-opening, mind-blowing, mind-numbing. I mean, I barely even have the words. This was a fucking disaster. Craig, you've you been reinstated. Like <laughs> you idiot go ahead Vinny Brian I think you like this match a lot more than I did <laughs> that's impossible when that's they, impossible as soon as they made contact this match was horrible and I got no better it may have gotten worse than horrible but it was horrible from the moment they touched they were trying to brawl and it's ultimate warrior and Andre and it's all chops and clubbering and elbows and choking and the Best case scenario is that you could say they were not on the page, same page. That's probably overly nice. More realistic to say they were just not cooperating with each other, in particular Andre. There are points here where this is borderline shooting. Just two guys who had no idea what they were doing, especially Warrior. They just couldn't do a damn thing together. So one guy would throw a hit and the other guy would not sell it. And the other guy would throw a chop and the other dude might sell it. You never knew. It's just awful and awful and awful. They get to that bear hug spot. I think about a match you might see. We saw earlier, earlier this year, in fact, Timothy Thatcher and Matt Riddle. And they're going to start trading submissions. So they do like an ankle lock into a half crab, into an arm bar, into a guillotine or something. Ultimate Warrior and Andre the Giant trading submissions go from bear hug to nerve pinch to bear hug. It sucks and sucks and sucks and sucks and sucks. Heenan tries to interfere, and then I don't know what happened, but apparently it was so terrible they couldn't show it because they cut to a close-up of Andre the Giant's face instead. Now think about how bad the rest of this match was, that they had to cut something out for being too terrible. And then they do the stupid DQ finish. It's determined a warrior won somehow. And then it ended. An awful match. An all-time terrible match. I don't know how the uh, warrior... One. 
I guess as Andre's manager was in the ring, even though by the time the ref saw him, Warrior had him. Bro, in his we hands. see people in the ring all the time on this show. I don't. It, it, the no rules are so weird. It was a disqualification. Yeah, but Warrior won. <laughs> well, un- yeah, but like understood. Warrior threw a man at another man. That's what happened. Well, yes, I, Warrior used a, a foreign object. He a assaulted weasel. Andre the Giant with Bobby Heenan, right. and he yeah. was awarded the victory. <laughs> yes, Bobby Heenan was just in the ring, though. Bro, this was it doesn't bad make any shit. sense. I can't remember a worse match with two bigger stars in the in the ring at the same time. This was so horrendous. Bad. Whew. Hogan's replacement, yeah, everybody. Hogan's yes. replacement. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right hand side of the screen and click join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.